Get down. Get down. No. <laughs> Raya. You a good girl? You a good girl? Hey. What's up, guys? So, today, I look a mess. But I've been working every single day um, for the last, I say that constantly. Um, but anyway. Today I decided that I'm gonna do a different video because I was gonna upload my video um, and kind of give you like the rundown. Oh my God, they're so noisy. Of like what I'm doing because I want to do something educational for you guys in my YouTube videos. I don't want to just throw workouts at you, which yes, I do want to do that. But also explain why I do it, what's important, and the cues that you should be focusing on when you're doing it uh, is really important. Now. I am not disregarding having a coach. As I am a coach, I think it's really important. Watching YouTube videos and like hearing the cues are very different from someone being there to visually watch you do it. Um, and I say that because I am a coach to plenty of people who have watched YouTube videos and still don't have the correct form. And that's not a dig at, dig at them or a jab at them or anything. It's just the reality of the situation. You can't, even if your friends are qualified coaches, qualified coaching is so important. You have a certification, don't disregard that. Uh, don't disregard someone who does have a certification and think that you know it better because you watch someone on YouTube um, Or because you follow Steve Cook or whoever uh, or Because your friend writes programs, whatever Unless they are a certified coach Do not completely take a bunch of advice from them um, But anyway, I Have a few little things that I need to talk about First and foremost, I do have a discount code to HydroJug, which is really cool. Uh, I've always wanted one and I feel like I manifested it into my life, which is so cool. But you do get 10% off. Um, I will put the description or the code up here um, and also in a link in the description box below. You have until April 15th to use it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue being a or sponsor girl for them. Um, that was just how my code is active for. They have like their last late night zoomies. Anyway, um, that's really exciting. I'm super excited. I've always wanted one now that I have one. So cool. So again, use my code. You get 10% off for all my fit chicks, fit boys. They have black if you want just a neutral color if you're a guy. They have glass ones, which are really cool. I'm considering on getting one of those myself. We'll see. Um, but yeah, super excited about that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do my voiceover for this video. I will see you guys on the next video. I think I'm gonna do a day in the life of what I eat. We'll see what time I have. Um, I'm working on work-life boundaries, guys. Work-life balance is my weakest thing and it's been so bad. I literally work 12 hours a day and I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can like, my face is breaking out. Not as bad as it was. I've been doing really good with skincare, but anyway, I will see you guys. I can do one of those videos for you as well, but I'm adding, also adding a video of the dogs because they were so cute earlier. Um, John and I took them to the park. So, uh, gonna do that, but anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos so you can see more content. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. It really meant a lot to me. This is something I'm actually genuinely really passionate about and excited for uh, and excited to do and I love doing it. So I appreciate it. I'm obviously not the type of influencer that makes herself look fashionable all the time. So anyway, love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.
Okay, first and foremost, as you get into position, you want to make sure that both your feet and your knees are facing forward. With that, you want to make sure that your shoulders are squeezed together to support that bar. Here, you can see that I am driving through my entire foot, hopefully, maybe not, but that is what I'm doing. I am not just using my heel. My entire foot is being used here, almost as if I am a tree trunk and driving through. You also wanna make sure that core stays nice and engaged to be able to better support your back. So I really felt it important to add this video in here, even though my form isn't 100%. As you can see, as I go down, my hip is actually going down with it, which is not what you want. You really wanna have a neutral alignment when it comes to most exercise, every exercise that you do, let me be specific. Um, it just means that I should have done a bit more mobility before this leg exercise and my leg workout in general. However, it is pretty much similar to the squat exercise, keeping those scapulas squeezed together for that bar support. I was focusing on glute activation, so my feet are a little bit further apart here. You also wanna make sure that your knee does not go over your toes. I could have allowed myself a little bit more of a stand up leg um, in order to better support my knee. So RDLs are usually the hardest to explain. However, you wanna make sure that you again have that neutral alignment. You wanna keep pulling those shoulders back just like you would in a back squat. Keep that core engaged for your lower back. You also wanna make sure that your feet are hip distance width apart and also toes facing forward. You want a slight knee bend, not a hyperextended leg. As you go down, guide the bar against your leg and push your hips backwards towards the wall. This will allow you to really activate those hamstrings and your glutes. All right, here we have simple banded side steps. This will be super setted with our hamstring curl. You wanna make sure your core is engaged, make sure that band is right above your knees, and you wanna make sure you try to keep your entire foot on the ground as you do your side steps. Okay, here we have our prone leg curl or hamstring curl. As you lie on there, make sure that you're holding onto something so you don't end up moving and keeping your body flat. This will allow proper extension and mobility. You wanna make sure that the pad is right on your ankles and your feet are flexed. Really squeeze your hamstrings as you try to pull that up. as the hip thrust machine and all the boxes were being used when I was trying to do this exercise. Um, to better activate my hamstrings, I do have my toes upwards, making sure that I go through every vertebrae of my spine, allowing my glutes to be the last thing to touch the ground. Mm -hmm. 